Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Quanchua's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I would like to say a very warm aquaba to you. Today I'm sharing with you my simple homemade tomato puree recipe. And this is a sure way for you to preserve tomatoes, especially when they are in season in abundance and cheap. You can buy and make this so you save on buying tomatoes. And it's also a quick way for you to make that party jollof stew and your jollof tomato stew or whatever. So I got a box of tomatoes from the restaurant supply store and I'm going to wash all of these and I'll blend it and make my cream. So I'm just washing these tomatoes and picking out the few that are not looking so good and then I'll cut around them. So I got this sitting in my garage, you know it's a little cold here now and I kept it for almost a week because I wanted a good time, a suitable time to make the video. So you see it's not looking that good like typically how many tomatoes will look, that is the reason but I'll work with it. So now that our tomatoes are all washed, I'm just going to cut them up and blend them. I am not removing the seeds this time around, but if it's something you want to do, you can go ahead and remove them. So I'm done blending the first batch. I'm going to pour it here and continue the process until I'm done blending all my tomatoes. And I'm using a big pot to cook it because once it starts cooking tomatoes, you know, it bubbles over and you don't want it to spill and create a mess. And so the deeper or wider your pan, I mean the bigger, the more room your tomatoes have to cook, the better for you. So I have these peppers sitting in my fridge and I'm just trying to clean up the fridge anyway. So I'm adding them to my blended tomatoes. And all those little ones are from my garden, so I'm, I'm really proud of cooking with them. So the peppers, I'm just removing the seeds. And then I'll transfer into the blender afterwards. So this is going to be the last batch of what is going to go in the pot and as you can see it's almost full and at this point I have turned on the flame so it's starting to cook and I'm just going to cover it but not cover it all the way through because I don't want to lose focus and have this boiling over. My mom claims that the best part of the tomato or whatever you cook she claims the best part is what bubbles over. I'm not sure but I don't want to spill. I mean, I don't want to have to clean around my pot and the stove and everything. So I let the lid just sit on the edge, not to co cover completely. And now that it started to boil, I place my wooden spool across the pot because that is also helpful in preventing everything from boiling over. So this is cooking on a medium heat and I'm just going about my chores as it cooks. And it's going to cook. I'm going to let it cook all the way until it's like dried out and almost no moisture in it so every now and then i come and stir it because you don't want the sides especially see i'm cleaning the edges of my pot because once it stays on there it's going to be stuck and then you are losing some of your stuff and it's going to be a mess on your pot as well so con continuously stir every now and then and then you let this take its own sweet time to cook you know as somebody will say just forget about it you know until whenever it's done, you will know. So about two hours into the cooking time, my tomatoes has reduced considerably in volume. It is beginning to thicken and I just continue to come in every now and then to stir just so it doesn't, you know, burn on the edges especially because it's too 
liquidy at this moment for you to think of it burning but it's just the sides of course and if you don't stare of course up for a long time it will settle in the bottom and burn anyway so i continue to stare and i am intending to cook this until it really really has no moisture in it yeah it's a long process but you really don't need to tend it that much when you are using a bigger pot because it's not going to be bubbling over and creating a mess or anything you just let it cook on a medium flame and that is all you need you know and this really pays off when it is done and saved in your freezer because it cuts down the cooking time for your stews and your jollof by at least a half so look at this now this is probably like four hours into cooking it it has thickened it is at this point how you would call like typical tomato sauce that you buy like a, a can of hans tomato sauce will look that way but i'm still letting it cook longer and i wasn't really paying attention so as you can see the edges are beginning to burn so i'm gonna go ahead and stir and after that i'll try to clean the edges a little bit <laughs> And that wasn't so bad I was able to clean it up a little bit and so I'm just gonna let this cook it probably will take about an extra hour to take it into how I desire it to be and we're done really it doesn't take so much of you you just go in about your daily chores but at the end of the day when this is all cooked and ready you will see how much you saved you know your time your money and everything So dear friends, after almost about five hours of cooking this on about medium heat, this is how it has turned out and this is what I want. Just look at that. This is like real tomato puree, like crushed tomatoes as some the uh, manufacturers will call it. And this is cooked like to perfection. So when I have to make my stew, you just blend your seasonings, your peppers and onions. And once it goes in and fries up a little bit, this goes in and before you know it, your tomato stew is done. And because I didn't add any other um, herbs or spices to it, you can also even put some in your soups or any other thing that you cook in. You can make your palava sauce with it. Anything that you would have used fresh tomatoes to cook to make a stew, this is good to be used for. Just look at that. Just look at the texture. Just beautiful. Mm -hmm. I hope you try this. This is really time saving and money saving. And we'll be making our party jollof stew using this. And I'll be sharing that with you very soon. So I'm going to refrigerate this. And at my next convenient time, I'm going to be making party jollof stew. And that is also another way for you to cut down your cooking time. And I'll be sharing the video with you as well. Okay, this is beginning to get heavy, so let me just set it down and continue to fill it up. Uh, can you even imagine how much tomatoes we started off with and compare it to what we have now? Like really, this is really a concentrate. It has really cooked down, but once you make your stew, trust me, you still gonna end up pretty much with that part of stew because you would have added blended onions and other ingredients. And typically I save, I freeze, them in a bowl like this you know this size of bowl and once I pick one of this from the freezer it is good to make a good part of jollof like you know for my family for days like this little bowl right here because it is very concentrated I hope you try this this is money saving and time saving and until I come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy